President Jefferson officially announced the Louisiana Purchase on July 4, 1803. The Louisiana Territory became part of the United States, doubling the size of the nation. As in the past, these land exchanges involved European nations, and the United States would mostly ignore the claims of Native Americans already living on the land. This would bring conflict in future decades, when more and more settlers came west to mine and to farm the land. Meanwhile, to most U.S. citizens living east of the Mississippi River, the land that the nation had purchased was largely unknown territory. Jefferson himself had been fascinated by the West and its potential for some time. Even before the Louisiana Purchase, Jefferson had asked Congress for money to fund an expedition to explore the Western part of the continent and seek a route to the Pacific Ocean. Those plans took on new significance after the Louisiana Purchase. To lead the expedition, Jefferson chose his personal secretary, Meriwether Lewis, an army captain with experience on the frontier. Lewis then asked William Clark, an army friend, to share his command, calling their group the Corps of Discovery. Lewis and Clark and more than 30 others set out from a camp near St. Louis on May 14, 1804. Among them were John Ordway, a New Hampshire soldier who was in charge of supplies during the journey, and an enslaved man named York. In their own words, the Louisiana Purchase, the inhabitants of the ceded territory shall be incorporated in the Union of the United States and admitted as soon as possible, according to the principle of the federal constitution to the employment of all these rights, advantages, and immu immunities of citizens of the United States. And in the meantime, they shall be maintained and protected in the free enjoyment of their liberties, property, and the religion which they profess. <laughs>